So this example is trying to use the integration method to find out the centroid for this curve. So the equation for the integration is x bar y bar. So we had two ways to solve this problem. The first thing you can do is try to draw the vertical rectangular to do the integration. And other people might say, can I draw the horizontal? Yes, you can. But we can see the difference, and we can help you make the decision later. So now let's go back to see what we are going to have. In order to do the integration, we need to find out what is the little area for the rectangular you just draw, and then what is the x tilde and y tilde. So the definition for the x tilde and the y tilde is the centroid of your little rectangular you just draw on the picture. So in this picture here, what we can have is how we are going to calculate the little rectangular area is base times the height. So the base will be the dx. And what is the height? What you can know is the point on the curve will be x and y. So which means the dA is equals to the base times the height. For this horizontal little rectangular here, it's still going to be the base times the height. The height is incremental in the y direction, so that's why it's dy. So what is the base? Is this base going to be x, or it's going to be something else? What you can do, still try to mark the point on the curve. You can see this point is x and y, so which means from the y-axis to this point will be x. However, this is not the base of the little rectangular, right? So based on the ge geometry, we can see the base of the little rectangular you just draw will be 8 minus x. And then we multiply the height. We can keep going, try to find out the x tilde y tilde for each little rectangle. So you can see this point is the x tilde location. So since we draw the little rectangular as small as possible, so that's why the x tilde for the vertical rectangle will be x. And then what about the y tilde? You can see it's halfway. It's in the middle. So that's why it's halfway of the y. So that's going to be y over 2. And now let's take a look at here on this end. What is the x tilde? Is that going to be 8 minus x, or is that going to be x? No. The correct way to find out the x tilde is all the way from the origin to this location here, x tilde. So you can see from the geometry, it's from here, walk through to the point on the curve, and walk halfway of the little rectangular. So that's why it's going to be x plus 8 minus x divided by 2. So if we combine them together, it will be 8 plus x divided by 2. Then what is the y tilde here? You can see it's the same height with the point on the curve. So that's why it's going to be y. OK, so now if you, you can get the feeling right now, you want to put this information to do the integration, or you want to put this much information to do the integration. So now you got a decision, right? We want to do the shorter version so that less work and less errors will be made during the integration. So that's why what we are going to do is use a vertical rectangular to find out the centroid. Since we were doing the integration over the dx here, so it will be better to change the y to the x form. So now, the next thing you need to decide is what is the integration domain for this equation. So you can see, since we are using the vertical rectangle, so it's going to be kind of go all the way up to the end. So that's why our integration domain will be from 0 to the 8. And you 
do your mask work as carefully as possible. Finally, you got your final answer is five inch. And the same thing for the Y bar here. Try to mark your calculated centroid back to the picture so that you know if this makes sense or not to check all your work. So we can see X bar will be five inch here and we go up a little bit. It's right somewhere here. It's not outside of the shape, which means you've done a good job.